Hello everyone and welcome back to another EDC review video. I say today we're going to have a look at, oh we're going to talk, oh my fingers in front of the lens now. I'm just walking through my local woods like I usually do when I do these reviews. I quite like this little way of doing it. I'm going to put a little overlay and we're talking today about the EDC, the True Utility EDC, which I posted back on the 24th of November, I think, when I um, got that video and actually started it up. So what I've been doing, I like just to, I like when I do my £30 EDCs, I like to test it for like at least three months going over. Oh, hang on, there's a bit of mud here. This footpath, look at this. Oh, there's a bit of mud, so I'm going to have to do a bit of balancing work along this little section here and talk to you at the same time. So if I fall that way, it's going to hurt. If I fall that way, it's going to get muddy. But what I like to do is just test them for a good three months because. Things tend to last 30 days and without any major, major issues. But, um, I'm still, still concentrating. But after about two, three months, that's when things start to show their wear and, um, and see if they're good quality or not good quality. And that's been the case with True Utility. As we, as we know, it's a fairly cheap brand for the UK. But they do, they do, they, they do have some good initiative, uh, innovative ideas of what they're going to do. But the price can sort of um, reflect the quality of the stuff. Have you seen in the past? My knife has fallen apart. Um, my light, I've had a light from them before, which failed at the same time. This test for the last three months has its ups and downs as well. So, how is it fared? The knife this time, as um, I haven't sharpened it for the entire three months, and it still held its edge. Um, I didn't want to sharpen it at all. I just want to use it for normal everyday use. Um, cutting up boxes, cutting string, opening things, um, that, that sort of stuff as you would do, packaging and that's not, nothing really, really, really um, hard. Just, I've done a little bit of carving um, up in the woods where I've just walked around and found little things and just played around with it. But for a general everyday use knife, that knife has actually really, really, really um, been good. The bottle opener, yeah, here it is, yeah. The bottle opener has been used quite a lot. The rub, the scissors, um, as I said with, with the scissors, when I have these sort of utility knives or, or smaller things, I like to know that the scissors can cut nails. Because I've got four kids, that's the thing, and the nails are sometimes... I don't carry nail clippers, but having the little scissors... And if they're good enough to do that sort of job, to me, they're actually good, good scissors. And these are still cutting nails. They even cut my nails, which are quite, quite big, and they're still going quite well. And the rivets haven't fallen out. I, I do like the carabiner little clip sort of on this, even if I need to take it off when I'm sort of sitting in the car I can just answer the wife and she can just use it over there so that's been a quite a nice little thing and it hasn't failed on me yet right the next thing we've got on the keys has been the torch the torch itself again it's been really really handy having a little mini LED torch on my system the only downside is because of where the button is at the back when it's inside my pocket or dangling on the, on the car, it can sometimes be knocked with the other stuff on the keys and actually turn the torch on. And sometimes when I'm actually going to use the torch, it's been flat because it's been turned on in my pocket. And I haven't realised, I've got it out and it's been flat. So probably a little bit better positioning for the, for the button or make the button a bit more robust as it's suddenly just tapping it. I'm um, actually having a press and hold for a couple of seconds to come on. We've been a lot better for that torch, but it does throw out a fair bit of light. I think it's 16 lumens, which is not bad for a little key ring, just to look around inside the car or um or just mark things. The red light, the red the red flashing light, I've used a couple of times where we've done some night hikes with the scouts, and they've done some road walking, and and one of the groups didn't have a red light with them, so I clipped that on the back. It's got a carabiner on it. Let's clip that on the back of their backpack. And um, they had a red light for the road section, which is also really, really helpful as well. And the charge itself does last quite some time. I'll keep the charge inside the car. And um, is that all resin and stuff on there? Look at that. Look at that. That is packed. That is packed with some sort of resin y sort of sap on there. How cool is that on the pine tree? Just can chop down. That's oozing out of resin. I might come back there in a few days and I can get my knife and just scrape it off when it's dried up. Remember that. Yeah, so the charge has had, I've only charged it out of the three months I've had it. I think I've only charged it about four or five times. Um, and usually that's the time when I'm actually going to use it and it's been flat. 
So it's quite a quite nice little thing. Right, the next thing on the key ring, which, we, which we've been using, is the lighter, which I'll get out a little bit. The lighter this time, um, as you've seen in one of the couple of videos, I had a bit of an issue before. If your hands are slightly damp or slightly wet, trying to spark it, it will not throw a spark. Um, the wick's not the best sort of wick for holding the flame. The slightest bit of wind will blow it out. But I've been using it quite regularly inside the garden. I've made him a char cloth and a char cloth orders. And um, over the three months, I filled it up like once a month with fuel. And I don't use it every day, but it's actually retaining itself quite well this time. So I think the last time I might just have a little bit of a dodgy one where the wick broke and that sort of thing. But as I say, you take it what you get, what you pay for, don't you? Um, so this time, the true city lighter has actually been holding out quite well. Um, like you need to make sure your hands are fully dry when we're actually going to be using that. Right, what else have we got? Oh, the, the, the pen. The pen uh, has been an, in, an invaluable piece of equipment on my... I think it's been a lovely little pen where you can extend it. Small little pen where you can put it in a pocket and then extend it when you needed to. It's running out of... It's not writing on as many surfaces as it used to. So I think I need to change out the... Um, uh, what do you call it? The ink. Uh, it came with three little ones. So after a month, after three months, it's sort of used one of them up. I use it quite regularly. I use it every Friday for scouts. I use it quite a lot for filling out the kids' re letters and reports and all sorts of things. So I've always got a pen on me. But what's happened, because it's the extendable thing on the top, that over the last month, the, the very, very top of the pen, if you see there, has popped off. Um, it kept falling off which you use to quit out this. It's held on by friction. I kept putting it on, and then one day, like two weeks ago, I went to get it out of my pocket and it wasn't on there anymore. So now I can't extend the pen, so the pen is now only stuck to that size, which is really, really hard to write with now. So it's probably gonna get rid of now, because unless I can find some sort of way of extending it, but it lasted two and a half months no, it lasted two months of constant everyday use until the top fell off and then and then now I can't lift it up or close it down anymore. So I might see if I can prise up the repair pliers and maybe put a little ring on there so if I can just pull it up. But other than that, um, the pen has the serviced quite well and I'm fairly happy. The rings you get on the True Utility, they, they say they're free. Um, I'm actually really impressed with those. I like those because I'm still using my um, the range carabiner and what I've just done is just clipped all those rings on there depending on what I want to do is I've got the knife and the top box key on one of them I've got my little EDC sort of bundle on another one and then the last one I've just got some car keys but what I'm still using on the car keys was the novelty thing you don't know, remember in Poundland video I'll crop it up I'll put it up there the little key holder I sort of clasp on the thing I used to get my front door back key messed up um, so I've now got that on the front door key which I don't use often a little cover over the top of it and it's just a little bottle opener and a small little screwdriver and I've used that quite regularly it's been handy for marking the front door key um, in the dark and it's also been handy just um having another bottle opener without taking off the, the, the knife um, onto the onto the, um, the true utility blade and it works quite well especially for a pound out of pound land I was happy with that um, in the way of using um, a wallet remember the true utility didn't come with a wallet and I'll just get it out of my pocket, hang on. Yeah, so I'm still using... Oh, my finger, right at the lens, there we go. So I'm still using the, um, the, 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 the range wallet. And it's working quite hard. It's still holding out quite fine. I use it quite... I use it every day of the week. I sit on it and put it in the guard, bunk in the car, bunk on the floor. And um, it's still holding quite fair. So I'm actually impressed with the quality of the wallet. I think I only paid out like £6 for it out of the range. Um, anything else I'm using, I'm still using my mobile phone, which actually I'm filming on today uh, because I didn't want to bring up a big camera. This is like an sponsor, so I thought it was a nice weather. Let's get out and have a quick walk around the woods. I've also just took my little Laplander with me today just in case I see anything uh, of, of any interest um, in which I just want to take home and just do a little bit of carving. But that's it. I just thought I'd just give you a quick review. Um, overall impressions at this time with the True Utility um, kit has been quite good. And the other things I have have used, which I haven't actually carried because they're not UK legal, is that small little thin knife. Uh, the knife is really razor sharp. Um, 
and I do enjoy it. The only thing I, I said about the start is opening it and closing it. Um, that little, it's such a strong friction to try to open it up. Uh, trying to get your nail into it is actually quite hard. And um, luckily at the moment I haven't actually cut myself trying to pick it up. I've uh, been quite careful, but if you're not careful, not looking, you could cut yourself on the blade trying to lift it open. But that little pin at the back has just been annoying. Um, because it's not UK legal, I can't put that little pin on a key ring and hold it on my things. Um, because it does lock itself with, um, with, with a spine lock. So I think, I'm, uh, I can't remember the last time I used it if I lost it or not. I'm um, sort of putting around, so... So that was that. The corkscrew, I, um, I haven't actually bought a bottle of wine, so I haven't actually used the corkscrew. So I can't comment on how good the corkscrew currently is. Um, but the little storage box is getting filled up at the moment. The reason I bought the corkscrew was to make the, make a little, my own survival kit, just to laugh with, with a bit of um, budget, with some budget kit. And so that knife is actually getting put inside that. The knife mainly was to put inside of the true utility little survival kit on which I'm building which I'll be testing fairly soon after I get some other things out of the way I think that's it though I've waffled on a bit I'm just walking around here I haven't actually seen anything major major to intro it's been quite nice seeing um, the old storm sort of as all the trees are coming down uh, it's quite lucky for me now because I quite like getting old birch bark and and what because this this because this is the birch wood there's so many birch trees which have now fallen down. So I've got no problems at all of harvesting as much birch bark as physically possible um, on these trees now, because they're already dead, they're falling down. So all the ones that were down before were all like spunk, um, punky, and that sort of thing, and, the, and the, the bark just kept falling off, wasn't very good at all. This is an example here, this one's been down for some time, got all the moss, but the start of it, but then there's one just been dropped there. Some nice little birch bark, but there's some, Load and load of forest work being done at the very, very start near the car park. And there's about 15 logs, but birch logs all being cut up in reasonable good sizes. So I'm probably going to pick one of those logs up as well and take that in you know, a couple of days' time. I'll get the trailer out, I'll just come and pick some old bits of wood up and to take them back to repurpose them. There we go, look. A nice big pile of birch, which is just there. But that's it today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, just a little review, just to give you some idea. Oh, look, someone's made a shelter out of birch tree here. Yeah. See, everywhere you go, there's always shelters. Let's have a look at it. So, um, kids love it, don't they? Yeah, they love the outdoors. Just let them out and have fun. And um, this is what all getting outdoors and bushcrafty things is about. Just enjoying it, building dens. Remember the times when we used to come out? I used to always come out and build dens and that sort of stuff. There we go. So the kids have just built all these little birch barks here. And just build ourselves a little den. Ah, wonderful times, wonderful times. And we still do it now, don't we, as adults? <laughs> We're going out on these channels and building little dens and sleeping inside them. So it never goes away, does it? But that's it. Just remember, it's better to be one with the wilderness than to fight and struggle. Until the next video, I'll see you then. Bye for now.